Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna cover keyword stuffing and your Google My Business profile. So you might not be aware of this, but people tend to keyword stuff their titles to try to rank better in Google search results, mainly on the map pack. So in this video, I'm gonna cover how you can detect when a company's doing this and how to actually report them. So let me give you a good working example. I did a quick search for Las Vegas HVAC. And I came across a company that is clearly keyword stuffing. So you could see right here, um, this company is called Rich Air Cooling and Heating, but their title name is really long and you can tell it's stuffed with keywords. So I'll go ahead and say, yes, you can keyword stuff your Google My Business profile and you might see some short term um, spike in traffic because of these keywords. But uh, I'm going to let you in on a secret, and that is your competitors can actually report you, and basically anybody that comes across your business that knows that's not your legit name can report you. They can either do it through the Google My Maps interface, which I'll show you, or they can go on the official Google um, forms and report you through there. Now, Google wants people to do this because their algorithms are good, but they're not always the best at finding keyword stuffing. So it's kind of up to the public to help um, the systems to detect this type of stuff and you know, so it gets better AI. So I'm gonna show you how I report them and what to do to make sure that this is you know, keyword stuffing. So the first thing you wanna do is check out their website. So I'll click on their website here and you can clearly see that their company name is just Rich Air Cooling and Heating. It's not 46 words long like their title is. And you can verify it through here. There's their logo. Um, I'll go through the footer here just to make sure. Yep, same thing. And let me go back. And they actually have a Better Business Bureau link. And their name is just Rich Air. It's not Rich Air and all those keywords. So let's report that to Google. I'll show you how easy it is. Um, all you have to do is be logged into a Google account and you click this button right here, suggest an edit, change name, and just go up here and go up and delete all of these junk keywords. That's it. So that should be the name of their business and what people see. Um, all you have to do next is hit the send button and what Google will do is send you an email to that uh, Gmail account or Google account you're logged into and within a few days, they'll give you the status, whether it was approved or not, because um, Google has to go in and actually review it. And the company has X amount of days to respond. So that's why it's very important if you have a Google My Business account to always check your emails. And I highly recommend installing the Google My Business app on your phone if you're running a business, because you're getting an alert immediately if anybody suggests an edit. So you want to make sure you're always on top of this. So like I said, you would just click send and then wait for Google to respond and they'll tell you the results within a few days. Now I have come across situations where it doesn't take a few days, it, it's instantly changed. And I believe that is because that company has uh, been penalized several times and so Google knows that they're keyword stuffing. And I don't know the exact number and from the research, I believe the number is eight times. You kind of get like eight strikes before Google I think does a hard uh, suspension on your account and you might not be able to get it back. So it's not worth it. It's as simple as that. If you're keyword stuffing your, uh, your titles on your Google, my business profile, um, you're going to get caught eventually. You might not get caught for a while, but like I said, your competitors can come and do this stuff. So, and they will. Um, so just a warning, do not keyword stuff. It's bad. Um, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Make sure that you leave a comment below and like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you. This is Mark from Wiki Design.